right guys so it is Monday and the Sun is just coming up and it is absolutely stunning it's beautiful and I've come to absolutely love sunrises and sunsets so much that I try not to miss a sunset but I need to try not to miss the sunrise because it's absolutely gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful and when I look at the sky I just cannot even fathom the creator who created such beauty such amazing paintings and it's just phenomenal to actually see that and know that there is someone who put every single star in the sky and um, anyway it's just breathtaking and I just had to share that with you guys because I'm on my way right now to um, see Gavin for his first day of school today so our summer has sadly come to an end and Gavin will be going back to public school and he spends the majority of his school week with his dad although this year um, you know we're talking about potentially doing um, something that I have to talk to his dad a little bit more about because we haven't really decided but I brought it up to him last year he seemed open to it but maybe you know just me getting him a little more often throughout the school year because the kids just miss him and I struggled so terribly last year I just had a really hard time with it I didn't really share that on my YouTube channel but I really struggled with not seeing my baby boy so I'm gonna try to um, work with him and see what we can come up with um, as far as getting him throughout the week um, you know if that means I have to get up super duper early and drive him to school that's fine I don't mind at all small price to pay right so anyway I'm driving out this is his first day of middle school I'm gonna try not to cry but it's sad <laughs> it is sad okay look I'm getting teary-eyed now but anyway so, um, yeah, it's 639. So I left the house about 20 minutes ago. He goes to school about 40 minutes from our house. So, um, you know, it's not a terrible drive. And it's beautiful, I will say that, to watch the sunrise. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing. I left everybody at home in the bed because it was just too early to bring. Mason begged me last night. For me to wake him up but he didn't even go to bed till after 10 and i'm sure that he didn't even go to sleep till after 10 30. so um it was just too late for him to to be woken up so early and then i'm sure he would have been just a complete mess today being so tired so i told him that i couldn't do that it was going to be too early so he um, i left him in bed and jacob had discussed um, coming with me but when I mentioned to him that he needed to go to bed at an earlier time then he retracted his request <laughs> so anyway um, I'll try to take some pictures of Gavin when I get to the school so it's a lot later now and I'm home it's not a lot later it's like nine and um, I'll just tell you guys that I did all of that for nothing because they would not let um, my ex-husband and I uh, meet the teacher or go into the school this morning so I was worried about Gavin not knowing where to go or what to do but he is with some friends and they said that they would show him around and show him what to do so I'm just trying to take comfort in that but they would not let us in the school at all they let us come like to the front office but as far as like going and meeting and talking to the teacher and seeing where his homework class was they wouldn't let us do that so Aww. so sad all of that for nothing but oh well it is what it is I mean you know I know it's really chaotic and on the first day of school so if there were tons and tons of parents you know doing that it would be kind of chaotic but I was a little bit upset because of the fact that he missed meet the teacher and everything and like the orientation process because of a funeral I felt like they should have made an exception to make sure that he got where he needed to go and everything so anyway I'm a little aggravated about it but what can you do you know and so I'm back home now having some more coffee trying to get Jacob out of the bed so that we can all go do our Bible study 
and do our morning basket. So I'm going to be adding some more things to our morning basket now that we're going to be starting memory work. We will be doing Bible calendar memory work. And I think I'm going to throw in um, our read aloud book that we're working on and, and throw that in the morning as well. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not real sure exactly, but we'll see. Mason's already got his foot bag on. He's ready to go to I school. I like it. You like it? I like it way too much. Nice. <laughs> it's the Hot Wheels, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yep, you got your keychain. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So anyway, I'm just trying to wake up a little bit. I had a little bit of cereal, but I sort of feel like I could use a banana or something to give me a little extra fuel. Yeah, I feel like I, I, feel like I could watch the TV for another hour. Watch TV? Mm hmm You do? And, and play on my phone for another two hours. Well, let's get busy on schoolwork. How about that? I think I'll do schoolwork for 20 minutes. That's it? Mm hmm So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys sort of what we do in the mornings. Um, a lot of you have seen the kind of schedule that I'm sort of setting up every morning we go outside we have our morning time where we do our Bible uh, read aloud it took a lot longer this morning than it usually does because Maddie Mama. was interrupting every Mama five seconds died. okay work on it really good okay <sighs> she's in one of those moods today and then afterwards we come in I get the kids Mason has a morning activity book that he works on I'll show I you can't what find that is. it Corn, C-O-R-N. So you're going to find, look for any C, and then you look around to see if there's an O-R-N. C-O-R-N. There it is, right there. See that? Very nice. So I come in here, I get Mason started on this little workbook. He's doing this uh, first grade learning activities book, and he works independently on that. Maddie's doing a little coloring page. So I usually get her started with that. And then I sit down and go over math with Jacob. And then he will work on his problems independently while I hop back over to Mason Maddie. It's pretty hard. Just work hard on it, okay? Just do your best. It's pretty hard. It's all right. Just do your best. So we got Jake's math book in, which we're excited about. So he's doing pre-algebra, algebra one half, Saxon. Maddie's in a mood today, so it looks like it's going to be a difficult... And my face is red. Okay. It's all right, honey. Can Mommy please do a lesson with Mason, I mean, with Jacob without you interrupting? But, but my, my face is red. Why don't you go rest, okay? Just go rest. All right, so I'm going to read over lesson one with, <laughs> with Jacob. And then he will be doing his... Is there a lesson for Yeah, it looks like it's a different format. Okay, so let's just see what we have to do. Or 
you could say who. What? How do you think you'd spell who? That's your face. You can talk to everybody. Wait. I'm going downstairs. Hello. I did the vlog. So we doing the so. We just doing nothing on my hair. Like this. guys so we are nearly done with homeschool day and it is almost five o'clock the little ones have been done with homeschool for a long time but Jake has had a very long homeschool day um, and he's got one more lesson and a little bit of uh, Latin vocabulary to do and then he will be done finally Mom. but I'm dragging because I am so what but you're gonna show the guys what my room looks I like? will in just a minute I'm dragging, guys. This, the 5.30 wake up time is like really catching up to me. And I'm super tired. And it's just too late to take a nap. So, I'm so tired. I was just laying on the bed trying to convince myself to get up. So, here I am. I'm up. Slightly grumpy. Slightly irritated. <sighs> So I'm not, I'm like a little baby. I'm not used to getting up that early. But anywho, I'm picking up a little bit from our school day. Mason just got through organizing his room. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Oh, Maddie's got stuff under the table too. She's got stuff everywhere. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So I'm trying to get her messes cleaned up a little bit jimmy just called he's on his way home so he'll be here soon which is good because we love our daddy right mason uh -huh. we love our daddy and we might even go to carolines tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we're not going to carolines today i can tell you that yeah oh yeah i did not show you guys um the cart i got over the weekend i don't think so let me show you i've been dying for one of these carts for like the longest time every homeschooler has one i think <laughs> but um since my little um white drawer slash file cabinet thingy kicked the bucket and i had to destroy it i was thinking that now would be a good time to get um this little i needed one anyway and i'll tell you why because we needed some more work trays for both kids so like work boxes so um anyway now jacob has his own setup over here which is away from the little kids homeschool area he has his school supplies Ooh, in this little shower caddy mason 
sweet. Will you let me give them a... Sweet, bro. Can I give them a tour, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let me show you guys kind of how we got it set up. So here's his little shower caddy box. And this has all of his, like, crayons, markers, glue, um, flashcards. In the little section are some glue sticks and some erasers. This is tape, white out on this side. He has a couple of just little calculators in that section there, which fit perfectly. And then we got this little, this is the cutest thing. It's this little like recycling sort of like garbage can container from the Dollar Tree. And he just loved it. So we have, does that open? Maybe not. Um, so we just have this little container with his pens and pencils and a couple little pairs of scissors in there. And then I have his flashcard box right beside it. And yeah, so that holds all of his Jacob stuff. So nobody gets in his, um, you know, things that he needs for school. And then down here, I have each subject. Um, you see my label maker is kicking the bucket, guys. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is print off the, um, the labels and do the Velcro. I just, I have everything. I just haven't put it on here. Um, haven't really had the time, but anyway, math book in the top drawer, science, then we have his logic in there, his Latin drawer is in here, and then all of his writing materials, his debate stuff, he's doing a, he's doing a, um, article on pro-life. Um, so they're doing that or right to life, not pro life, right to life. So there's that notebooks and planners go in here So all of his notebooks and folders and planners. Oh, it's falling out. And then this is his literature books. That, so whatever he's going to be reading this year, we're just storing those in there. Um, this extra drawer. And then down here I have his. Um, basically introductory chemistry packet and his mock trial notebook that he won't need until second semester so there's all of that and then it's really cool because his um, flashcards just um, hook on the side with a nice big um, ring here and so it's a handy place to keep those and then so these are Latin and then these are his logic flash flashcards so we just hole punch those and attach them to the cart so I'm loving it. It's absolutely changing the way we keep up with things and keeping all of his stuff completely organized. And now Mason has his pullout drawers. Um, see, he has all of those in the schoolroom now. And those are all for him. So I've got to get his labeled as well. And he has just tons and tons of space now for all of his school supplies as well so it's working out nicely I've just got to get them labeled I also reorganized this over the weekend let me see if I can mm -hmm. so I reorganized my little turntable here I have all of my highlighters permanent markers there uh, colored pins are in the back and these are all black pins in the front then I have uh, all of these two sections are dry erase markers and then these are like Crayola markers and there are some dry erase since I had a little bit overflow. Um, and then I need to get some more of these uh, fine tip markers because we're really low on those. So I need to get a couple packs of those probably pretty soon. We have lots and lots of colored pencils. Definitely no uh, need there. <laughs> um, and then in here I have my stamps which I never use. I'm thinking about getting rid of these. I just never ever use I those. I can use one. And then I got these self seal laminating pouches. Believe it or not, our like dollar store, it's not a dollar store. It's called like Mighty Dollar or whatever. They get like close out stuff and they had these for a dollar. So I got a couple packs of those. I, here's some Velcro and some glue. And then I just have some like odds and ends in these little drawers. Like staples and tacks and some erasers and 
that's basically it. So I got that organized and I got Jacob's cart done, right? Mm -hmm. We got a lot done this weekend, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't see my room? Wait for the mysterious room. The mysterious room? Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, so tell everybody what you did. First, he did all of this by himself. Oh, okay, first I did this. So you Second. moved your... Wait a minute, tell them what this is. You moved your train table under your bed again, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and my train table's over there. Right, so you mm -hmm. moved it under your bed so you could have a little more space because Mason hasn't been playing with this train table all that much and he... Uh, I sometimes I play under there. He well, very rarely goes like under his bed much but anyway he thought he would like to do that. So he moved that there. What else did you do? Um, I, uh, I moved this over there uh, and I had to move this over here. That's right. The The toy box he moved, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I had to move this because I didn't know where to put that. You moved your little cart. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, this is my favorite part. Okay. My relaxing room. He has a little spot over there with a pillow where he can charge his, don't put your hand on the outlet, where he can charge the, um, his little Kindle and phone and stuff and play. And I can play on it. Plus right. Oh, and here's my telescope. And your telescope. You. And he's got a little blanket spread out here. Feels really good, though. He's been working hard, and he's got his bed all made and looking pretty up here, right? I've been sweating for the past hour. You've been sweating because you've been working so hard, right? It, it took me almost an hour to do all this. Did you vacuum? Yes, I did. You I vacuumed all under here because it's like a mess. And then yesterday, did you clean all your windows with Windex? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to do it again. You've been cleaning so hard, right? You know, I'm, I'm going to go get a paper towel that Windex in your room. Windex? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. I wash my windows with. I think I'm out of paper towel. Am I out of paper towels? And look. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's a SpongeBob picture. I, oh, my favorite thing of all. And his book bag. First day of school tomorrow, right? Mm hmm. First day of homeschool ooh, 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 community. Ooh. Shopping, shopping. He's super excited about his book bag and his first day of school tomorrow, Mason. I do have some. One more roll of paper towels. I've got to go to the store and get paper towels and toilet paper. All right, so I'm going to tidy up. I've got laundry that I need to put away, and then we'll be starting dinner soon. And Jacob still has one more logic lesson to do. <sighs> I'll see you in a little bit. All right, Maddie, what are we doing? Going to dance class. You back to dance class this fall? Yeah, I got uh, I'm I'm not ready because it only lasts an hour. Only lasts an hour. Will you and turn that light I off got, of her head? I got this. You got your litard on? No, and turn it off, baby. Like, I got litard right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. I got this girl on me. Mm-hmm. What else? You got, you got your shoes? Yeah. Got your ballet shoes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got your pretty hair bow. Beautiful. Don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess up my bun. Is that your bun? Oh, so that's why you put it on the back of it. I was like, how's that keep on staying? <laughs> so I almost forgot about Maddie's dance class. I was on the phone with my mom, and she said, "When does Maddie's dance class start back?" And I said, "This week." And then I was sitting there, and I was like, "What's today?" Oh my gosh, today's Monday. Ah! So I was in panic mode because they switched your day from Thursday to Monday and I had completely forgotten about that. So I was thinking Thursday in my head, but then I remembered that it was Monday. So anyway, Maddie is going to dance class today and she looks just like a lovely little ballerina. Right? I am so not ready for another hour one. <laughs> oh, I think this one's only 45 minutes, so that's a little bit better. Yeah. So we're at the Christian bookstore. We're waiting on the boys to get their hair cut, right? I'm going to get a balloon. You're going to get a balloon? Maddie just found this Bible. It's so cute. It's called My Beautiful Princess. What and a crown. Look at this. Hang on. Let's show everybody the pages. This is the coolest part right here. And I want to show you. I'll show you the page. You're going to show them? Yeah. So this is, this is the heart and mm -hmm. this is the handle. And this is the other handle of things. This is the Bible. This is the Bible.
Bible way. How is it things? Like this Bible, this Bible. Like nothing. Like that. Oh, things. Now. So, it's the back guy credit cards. Like this Bible. This Bible is something sweet. It's got prayer. I'm so excited to learn about how to live as a daughter of the king as I read your beautiful words in the Bible. This is the Bible. It's pretty. It's got pink. Is that nice? What do you do with it? I can read it to you. No, I read it by myself. You can? Yeah. So you can do that by yourself? God gives us hope. And God gives us treasure. And God gives us chocolate. Well, one day, Jesus gives us hope. Jesus gives us Jesus gives us hope. Jesus gives us nothing. Jesus gives us a trick. Jesus gives us a trick. The end.